Hey, hey, hey. We are back. We're back, and today we are going to talk about how to get your message to the masses. I am your host, Dakeisha Williams, your virtual COO. Hey, Doc, what's up? Just want to take a few minutes to have a daily cash conversation with you. So, hey, Denise Kelly, what's up, girl? Why do I look like I'm, um, I did put lotion on my face. Anyway, so let's go ahead and kick this off, right? So we've been talking about how to build your list, how to get your prospects to raise their hand. Um, and so today, let me go ahead and put that on Do Not Disturb. Today, we want to get in to the gist of turning that idea into income and how to get your message out to the masses. Hey, Loretta, how are you? So here's the thing that you have to understand. Understanding that business is an idea. Business is about idea, implementation, and income, right? So as you guys are joining on, let me know what your business is, okay? So I want to know what is your business because apparently you had this phenomenal idea of what you wanted to do Hey, Susan, long time no see. Um, you had this phenomenal idea of what you wanted to do. Um, or you could have been in a situation very similar to mine is where I get tapped on the shoulder at 2 or 3 a.m. in the morning. We're not going to talk about that, okay? Because um, most of the time I'm like, can you call me back? Right? But anyway, so most of you have had this phenomenal idea at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, right? You're writing it in your journal. And... You have a hard time of implementing, okay? So you have a hard time of creating awareness around your brand and things like that. Well, here's the thing. Um, so ideas are concepts or, yeah, so ideas are concepts that arrive at a random time, absolutely random time. Hey, Mark. Hey, Marion. What's going on, everybody? Hey, is it Joseph? Hey, hey, hey. So listen, um, hey, Kevin, Kevin said afternoon. Oh, <laughs> it is afternoon. Sorry, Kevin. <laughs> now, implementation is the art. Ready? Implementation is the art of taking action. How many of you under the sound of my voice have been to conference after conference after conference after conference, and you come back with that white notebook? I call it the conference white notebook, right? And you have all these ideas and all these strategies that you're supposed to implement, mm, right? And for some reason, they never freaking get done or you struggle with how you're going to get them implemented. So income is the revenue generated from the combination of ideas and implementation. I'll write that. I would write that down if I were you. Income is the revenue generated from the combination of ideas and implementation. So write this equation down. Idea plus implementation equals income. So have you guys ever heard of Drew Houston? Drew Houston had an idea to store backup data online. How many of you use Dropbox in your business? Idea, implementation, income. Um, Don Katz, Donald Katz had an idea to be the first person to store, well, to have, I think it's portable digital audio, portable digital audio. Hey, Gina. Hey, Dr. Jennifer. And created Audible. What we know today is Audible that has over 300,000 downloads. How many are you are sitting on an idea and not implementing and therefore not generating income? Mm, I'm just saying. All right. So let's look at this idea. How can you implement it? Well, you, you have to get people aware about the products and services that you have, about your business. Most of you all that have joined, hey, 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 most of you that have joined have a business. If you haven't put your business in the comments below, put your business in the comments below. I want to know what was the idea or the concept that you had in mind the day that you decided to start your business. Put it down in the comments below and let us know what it is, right? So there's three ways to get your message out to the masses. Are you ready? If you are ready, 
I want you to say yes in the comments below, right? I'm ready. Say yes, Dakeisha. I'm ready in the comments below. And we're going to talk a little bit about um, how to get your message out to the masses. Number one, y'all know I get excited. Number one, you have to show up. You have to show up, you guys. You cannot hide behind a computer and think that people are going to find out about your business because you have a website. What's up, Joseph? Joseph said, I'm ready. You have to show up. Whether it's online, whether it's face-to-face, -face, you have to be able or be in a position to show up, to share your message, right? So what's the message that you share when you, when you, when you show up, right? Remember we talked, I don't know if you guys saw yesterday, but you have to have connecting content. So number one, you have to show up. Number two, you have to be consistent. As you see, I've been going live every single day. It's a part of the Lady Tribe Challenge, right? And it was perfect timing. Um, I, I think I've tried it like three times. I ain't gonna even lie, y'all. I ain't gonna even lie. And let me tell you where I mess up. I mess up on the weekend because you know that this entrepreneur light goes off because I am there and present for my children. However, I am willing to go live from the football field or the parking lot of church on Sunday just so I can go live and stay consistent. Holla if you hear me, right? Talk about dedication. Talk about commitment. And we're sitting here talking about showing up. We're sitting here talking about being consistent. How can I be consistent if I don't show up on the weekends? I have tried so many times to do these challenges. I've tried so many times to go live uh, back to back but I take the weekend off. I'm like, I'm going live Monday through Friday, right? And I'm off on Saturday and Sunday. What happens Monday, Dr. Linda? What happens Monday, Dr. Jennifer? What happens Monday, Dr. Loretta? Mm. Because I've put a break in my consistency, I don't show up. So this time around, I need y'all to help me out because I have to show up on the weekends as well, right? As much as I love to hang out at a football field, I have to show up and be consistent. But here's my favorite, favorite part. And it's choosing which platform you want to show up on. Choosing which platform you want to show up on. So if you think about the Profit Blueprint, if you've never heard me talk about the Profit Blueprint, let me pause for just a second and let me share something with you. Um, in 2010, I started out with a sassy shoe gallery, online shoe company. I was selling shoes, had absolutely no clue of how to get people to find out about my product, right? Then I had people to start asking me, well, how did you get a loan for $30,000? How did you start your business online? How did you get people to find out about your webinar? All these questions started to come in, right? And so I started the consultant piece of the company. Yep. And so if you don't know, I have two children, right? They're older now. They, I mean, this was seven years ago. So at that time, do some math. There were 11 and five, right? So I was not in a position where I could just pack up and leave and attend, you know, speaking engagement after speaking engagement and speaking engagement. You have to understand. Here's something that you have to understand. For seven years, I was a district manager of 15 locations over five states. Most of my time was spent in Hartsville International Airport. Like literally, I was getting mail there. Hey, Lavelle. Hey, Richard. So, so one of the things that I was not excited about was going back down that same road of traveling consistently. Like that was the reason. Thanks for sharing. I appreciate that. That was the reason that I handed in my pink slip. And I was like, listen, I've got to go be present and available for my children. Okay. And so for me to want to build a business and a lot of people use speaking to build their business, right? It's lotion. I promise you it's lotion. I put lotion on my face, but a lot of people use speaking and that's one of the platforms that we'll talk about. But Dakisha was not in a position to, to, jump on an airplane and be in Kansas City and be in Florida and be in California. Like, no, I have two children and I'm trying to raise, okay? 
Now, one is into college, one is in middle school. So we have a little different situation now, okay? So, but let me tell you what exactly what I did. And so Facebook has just kind of started coming around, right? Live has only been around the last couple of years, right? Here's the thing. I use online marketing to help create my brand. Online marketing. So it's four different ways. Y'all writing this down? It's four different platforms that you can use to build your business. So you have live stream. And I always talk about live stream. And I'm really thinking about doing like a free gift around live stream. So when you go, when you do your live streams, they are effective, right? But one of the biggest things that I see people go wrong is they go live every day, but they're not monetizing the platform. How many of you, if you want to be transparent, if you want to be honest, it's the safe space. It's just Dikisha, your virtual COO. How many of you go live, but you're not making any money? I'm just saying. So here's the, here's the thing about the live stream. Live stream is a great, phenomenal way to, to get your message out to the masses. Live stream is a phenomenal way for people to become aware of your brand. Here is why there's a little button down here that says share right so you never know what my impact what my level of influence is or the impact that i have or my tribe so if i hit the share button right it's going to be exposed to my tribe so my friends will see your video and say hmm that title strikes or piques my interest, okay? So that's the thing about live stream. Now, however, I don't think my dad on the day, y'all. Live stream has a low barrier to entry. My uncle is always on my live streams. My dad is always on my live stream. If you go back and look at yesterday, I think both of them said something on the live stream, okay? So it has a low barrier to entry. It, your neighbor down the street can get on, look, Kayla, look, rah, rah, anybody can get on your live streams, okay? So a lot of my schoolmates are friends on Facebook. They may or may not be business owners, but they have access to my live stream, okay? So I'm not saying that it's not a good platform. It is one of many platforms. Now, the second platform are webinars. Y'all know me the webinar queen. I absolutely love utilizing webinars in my business. We are currently plug in the middle of the webinar challenge and I'm showing people how they can monetize uh, using webinars. I'm showing them how they can make money using webinars. We did a five figure launch. Was I sitting in the same spot? I might've been sitting in the, the living room, literally. But we did a five-figure launch using webinars in business. So this is one of my favorite go-to platforms to make money in business, okay? So I put the link, thewebinarchallenge.com. If you are not a part of it, it is not too late to join us, all right? It is not too late to join us, webinarchallenge.com. But here's the thing. 40% of the people that show up to your webinar will become prospective clients. Did y'all hear what I said? 40% of people that show up to your webinar will become prospective clients. Do you know that if you hosted one webinar per week for 52 weeks, all you need is 20 people on that webinar to make $100,000? Somebody needs to type that down. Like, I don't know if y'all heard me. If you do one webinar per week, 52 weeks in a row, that means one every week for the next 12 months. All you need is 20 people on that webinar in order to generate $100,000. 20 people. You mean to tell me you can't get 20 people to register and show up for your webinar? Come on now. Come on. How many of you are actually using webinars in your business? I want you to comment me in the comments below. Are you using webinars in your business? Comment me below. So number one of the reasons why I really love webinars, number one, it helps you build your list, build a trap, and make money. Point blank, simple as that. Three things, right? But here's why. Because they have to register in order to get access to your webinar. They have to give you your first name, their last name, their email address, and their phone number in order to get access to your webinar. Build your list, right? 
but you're also building your tribe. So you are getting your message out to the masses. Here's another one, stages. How many of you are actual speakers? How many of actual consider yourself to be speakers? So you're either speaking on your own stage or you're speaking on someone else's stage, right? Recently, got to use them. Got got to use them. Got to use the webinars. I'm telling you. I'm telling you change the game. I change your life if you let me. <laughs> Dead serious. Um but anyway, so if if you are speaking, right? You're a public speaker. Here's my question. Hey, George, here's my question. If you are a public speaker and you only speak, um, this lotion making me, anyway, so if you only speak once a month, right, you're a public speaker, you only speak once a month, what are you doing in the meantime to make money in your business? I'm going to say that again. If you are a speaker, and if you ain't making ten and fifteen thousand dollars per speaking gig, what are you doing in between your speaking gigs to make more money? I just want to know because nine times out of ten, you're sitting at home or you're going out to events looking for other speaking opportunities. You're looking for other platforms. Build your own. Build your own platform. Build your own tribe. Invite people to come on your stage. I'm, I'm just telling you how to get your message out to the masses, right? Okay, last one before we go for the day is events. This is something I'm not going to lie and be transparent. I hosted one four years ago and said I will not host them again. However, it's not about me. All of my inner circle members and clients want to come together. So the Keisha's going to have a small event. Don't have a date, but we are. Because at the end of the day, the interaction, you know, and the face-to-face -face helps you build a relationship. So having small events, this is, I'm not trying to have no 200, 300 people event. That ain't, that just not me. Like, I'm not. Um, there's, I like small, like, small intimate settings. And so hosting your own events can be very profitable once you've built your tribe, once you've built your audience. So the, the, do you notice that I'm literally showing you, hey, Mary, I'm literally showing you how to build your business in phases. I don't know who caught that, but we talked about, we began to talk about the prospecting, how to identify who your audience is, right? And then we're talking about how to share your message. By the time we finish, we're going to talk about the different processes that you have in your business. Come on. So real quick, let's go through the four different platforms and then I'm out of here because the lotion got me here looking like I'm sweating. <laughs> Number one is live stream. You can use Instagram live stream. You can use um, Facebook live stream, right? You can use YouTube. You can use Periscope if people still on Periscope. I, I've been on it the last couple of times and people are still on Periscope. So listen, don't knock it. Don't knock it until you try it. And so those are live streams. What my favorite is the, the webinar platform, right? And that is a platform where you create an intimate space to train to train and share relevant information to your audience, okay? But there is a higher barrier to entry, meaning that they have to give you their information. And if you're just starting out, and this is a question that we're gonna talk about in the webinar challenge, if you're just starting out, highly recommend you not to, not to charge, especially if you're trying to build a tribe. That's just the Keisha's thing, okay? And then you have stages. So if you're a keynote speaker or you're a public speaker, you're speaking on the stage of 100, 300, 500, 1,000. If you're not making 10 grand per speaking gig, you need to be doing something else to have another stream of revenue in your business. Point blank, not trying to step on any toes, but you just need to have additional revenue or you're going to be confined to having all your eggs in one basket. And we know what, that ha what happens to people in business who do that, okay? And then the last one is hosting your own event, your own signature event in your business. George said, I just hired you. You did? <laughs> so hosting your own signature events in your particular area of expertise. I don't know if someone is writing it down, note takers or money makers, so you better be taking notes. Go back and watch the replay. If you have not joined the webinar challenge, join me, www.thewebinarchallenge.com. Super excited. It's not too late to catch up. The assignments are really quick, easy, 
but it makes you think. It makes you implement. What did I say at the be beginning? Idea plus implementation equals income. That is it for today. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and staying to the end. This is your host, Dakeisha Williams, your virtual COO, and I will see you in the same place at the same time tomorrow. I love y'all.